Hey, Facebook. Melissa here. How about that San Diego weather we're having right now? I almost want to show you guys. As I wait for somebody to trickle in here, maybe let's take a little venture out onto the balcony. It's insane right now outside. The wind is blowing. I can't even open this door. The wind is blowing so hard. And downtown is just crazy. There's a lot of traffic already. It has not started raining yet. Um, but the wind is just insane right now. So, hi Jason. Glad to see you joining. Hi CJ. Um, so I don't know what you guys are, if you're also experiencing this weather, it's like a tornado out here. Not really, but I like to exaggerate sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's wild. So some of you trickle in. I usually do my chat right here on this lovely chair with you guys, but I can't today. It's just, it's crazy. So we're gonna take it inside. Oh. It's like so windy that it's blowing through the door. Okay, so we're gonna be talking today about the second step um, that Darren Hardy talks about in the compound effect for installing good habits into your life. So the first one that we chatted about yesterday was setting yourself up to succeed, right? So it was like, you don't want to set yourself up to fail, you want to be realistic with yourself and make sure that you can succeed in the goals that you set and the habits that you wanna implement. So today we're gonna to be thinking about the second one. And there's six steps, so I'm gonna try and do this. Um, <laughs> CJ, I know, I'm afraid I'm gonna blow away with this wind. Um, so today we're gonna to be talking about a really interesting concept and one that I absolutely loved as I was reading this book. It's called Think Addition, Not Subtraction. So when we set a habit or a goal for ourselves, it's usually positive, but in our mind, we usually are thinking like, oh, I'm gonna be deprived of some way. So for instance, I'll give you an example. When I cleanse, instead of thinking to myself, oh, you know, this really sucks, I can't have bread, I can't have sugar, I can't, um, you know, have gluten or dairy, instead of having that mindset, it's ta thinking about the things that you can actually add to your diet. So, instead of having that mindset, like, oh, I can't have this and this, you think, I can absolutely have a delicious salad for lunch and uh, maybe top it with some strawberries and then I'm gonna have an amazing stew for dinner. So it's all a little bit of a mindset shift and when um, Daryl Hardy talks about this in his book, he actually got this idea from Montel Williams, which I thought was really cool. I didn't realize um, you know, how Montel used this in his own life. He calls it the add-in principle. Hey, hey everybody, hey Jess. I'm not getting distracted by your likes. I love them. Please keep them coming. And hello, mother-in-law Steele. So glad to see that you joined. Um, so the way that Montel talks about it is, I love this quote from him. He says, it's not so much about what you attempt to take out of your diet, he explained to me, it's what you put in instead. This has become his analogy for life. Instead of thinking that he has to deprive himself or take something out of his diet, he thinks about what he can have instead. For example, today I'm going to have a salad and steamed vegetables and fresh figs. So he's kind of, instead of um, depriving himself and making it seem more of a negative thing, he's providing himself with a really amazing positive. I'm gonna have an amazing lunch today or a dinner. And you can apply this really to any area of your life. Another example that he uses is a friend who wanted to cut out TV watching from his life. So when he evaluated that he was spending about three hours a day watching TV, which, ask yourself that question. The average person spends almost five hours a day watching TV. So if you feel like you don't have time, that may be why. Um, but he basically asked him how he would feel if he had three extra hours a day and what he would do during that time. Well, the example that he uses, he said he would get more into photography and spend more time with his kids. Well, in focusing on the fact that he could then focus on photography and spending time with his kids, seeming deprived of the TV was not even really on his mind. So it's just a simple mindset shift that can completely transform your habits. So I would love to know what some of the habits that you have are, and maybe if you're feeling deprived in a certain way, let's brainstorm together about how you can really just do that simple little shift to kind of, you know, slide your mindset in a positive direction instead of like a negative and feeling deprived about a certain goal, because it's really a beautiful thing. Um, I follow a very strict diet, and the Montel example of how he, you know, also follows a really strict diet can um, be really beneficial. Like, I thought that example was awesome because it really made a difference in my own life. About a year ago, instead of feeling super negative and you know, every time I go out to eat, feeling like I couldn't have the food that my friends were eating, um, 
I just really focused on how amazing and good and nourishing the food that I was eating was making me feel. And being able to focus on that positive side of things, now I love the food that I eat and I feel really nourished every time I eat the, that food. So just my little tidbit for today, there's four other steps that are gonna be coming. I'm gonna try and do it consecutively. So join us tomorrow, we're gonna be talking about go for PDA public displays of accountability. So I'm sure you guys are gonna be aware of what that one is. I have some personal stories about that for sure, um, especially on our move to California that we accomplished a few years ago. But I really appreciate all you guys joining, had some amazing interaction with you guys. Thank you for the hearts and the love. Love you guys. Hope you're having an amazing Friday. Happy Friday. It's, it's uh, windy. Stay dry if you're in San Diego. I hear we're getting like four inches of rain in the next 12 to 24 hours. So. We have two open houses scheduled this weekend. <laughs> if you're around, you should definitely stop by if you're willing to brave the weather because we're probably going to be super lonely and bored. Um, but we'll be there because we always stick to our commitments and we're just going to be working from our open houses tomorrow. So yeah, hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Hit me up if you have any questions. We'd love to help you um, focus on addition and not subtraction in your life in regards to your habits and goals. So let's get that done for you guys. Have an amazing weekend. Talk to you soon.